this article from Red States um, states here, Representative Rashida Talib officially under investigation for campaign finance violations. Now, what they're saying here is that Rashida Talib used her campaign finances for her personal use. What do you think about this here, Barry? What's going on with Rashida Talib? You know, is this the character that she's um, trying to portray? Um, or is this just a, um, how can I say, a misunderstanding, just like she says in her eyes? I really appreciate, Jermaine, the way you put that question together. Because the American way is like what you said. We tend to look for the good in everybody. Absolutely. And, and absent information to the contrary, we tend to take people at their word. So before I respond to the current trouble she's in, let's go back to what you and I talked about some months ago. This lady, Rashida Tlaib, on election night, when somehow the people in Detroit, Michigan elected her, her campaign acceptance speech said two things. One, she was disgusted by newly elected president the previous year, um, Donald Trump, who she hated, and she complained about the fact that sometimes he used salty language. So what does she do to impress America? She makes a campaign acceptance speech and says her first order of business is, I'm going to go to Washington and we are going to impeach the mother effer mm -hmm. in response to questions about Donald Trump. And when your son looks at you and says, Mama, look, you won, bullies don't win. And no. I said, baby, they don't, because we're going to go in there and we're going to impeach the mother <laughs> This is, get this, not some common street person, not a homeless person, not a gangbanger. This is a member of the most esteemed legislative body in the world, the American Congress, and that's the way she talks. When she got to Washington and she got her office set up, the first thing she did was she put a map of the Middle East on her wall. She covered up Israel, our most strategic ally in the world, our ally in the fight against terrorism, our biggest military supporter for research and development and weapons, and put a sticker over it and named it Palestine, as if the country of Israel, established in 1948 by the United Nations and recognized ever since, no longer exists. And the people she celebrated that night with, and I'm astounded I have to keep saying it, were members of agents for various groups who support and raise funds for terrorists, Jermaine. Mm -hmm. So with that background and understanding, it's clear that the decorum of a United States congressman doesn't apply to her. The rules of government don't apply to her. So I want us to look at these current charges with that background in mind. Absolutely. Fair? Right? So Absolutely. these are incontrovertible reported instances that not only does she not deny, she brags about it. And she's called Donald Trump a mother effer repeatedly. That's how she talks about the President of the United States. And you know, as I've said many, many times over the last several decades, you can like the President of the United States, you can hate the President of the United States. But the office of the presidency is to be respected because without that, our institutions of government are very easy to disrespect yep. and then disregard. So if you don't like the guy or the lady sitting in the chair, in a few years, vote for the other side. Replace them. That's the way we do things. We don't take it down to gangbanger level like this lady has. And as a result, we've been around since 1776 and hopefully have at least that many years in the future. So that's the background of this thug life congresswoman from Detroit. So 
let me answer your question now. Sorry for the long-winded response, but I oh, thought worry that about that. was important. So when you raise money on a federal level for your campaign, you're raising money with the assumption by the people giving the money and your promise by accepting that money that your money will be only used for campaign purposes, not personal use, not for your friends and family, not to live well, not to buy clothes, not to go on vacation, and certainly not to pay your personal bills. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. And yet, this young lady has been taking money out of her campaign and spending it, get this, on herself and made no secret about it in texts and emails to her staff saying, I'm out of money, give me money from the campaign funds. It's so bad and it's so egregious, Jermaine, mm -hmm. that the House Ethics Committee which is controlled by and staffed by a majority of Democrats from her party are investigating her with investigators on a full-time basis because this is so egregious that the amount of money that apparently is going to pay her personal bills, she's stealing it from her campaign funds. This is potentially federal law violations mm -hmm. and looks like she did it because the emails and the text messages have been released there's no <laughs> misunderstanding give me money out of the campaign funds i need bills paid and that's basically what i'm hearing from this is that while she was running for congress she was enriching herself by getting you know money to take care of her personal finances instead of her finding other ways to do it i don't know if she was you know using her child support check i don't know what was going on well that's why congress has passed i mean it sounds crazy they control the purse strings they control the taxes they control the united states treasury and they keep voting themselves outrageous raises they're making a fortune if you can't live on the very significant, ridiculous amount of money that congressmen pay themselves, plus medical care, plus transportation, plus office expenses, plus housing allowances, you have a big problem. Mm -hmm. And I certainly don't want anybody that fiscally irresponsible controlling the trillions of dollars that pass through the United States government every year. Absolutely. It's I if she can't balance about that. her own checkbook, Jermaine, mm -hmm. do you want her balancing our country's checkbook? Absolutely not. And Barry, I was just about to get there. If she's this irresponsible with her own checkbook, why the heck are we electing her to get into uh, uh, an office where she will have, uh, you know, more power to mess up a lot of people's lives? She's not even responsible in her own life. So that's why are why we putting her in charge of others? That's why it's easier for some people to be elected than reelected because mm -hmm. once they get into office and you figure out what they're up to and the dirty laundry starts being hung out to dry for everyone to see, you realize what you elected. Remember, this is a woman with a, well, an X-rated mouth who has no problem, and I mean this literally, condemning Israel every day. Look, mm -hmm. as you and I talked about previously, six, seven hundred rockets fired into Israel, aimed at civilian population centers with the express intent of destroying personal property, houses, factories, schools, synagogues, and so on, and killing as many innocent civilians as possible which under every interpretation of the Geneva Conventions are war crimes, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of war crimes. And Rashida Tlaib, in addition to dipping into her campaign funds to pay her own personal bills, in addition to shooting off her mouth with horrible X-rated 
um, terminology, mm -hmm. condemns Israel and says, oh, the poor Palestinians are just defending themselves. In history, there has never been an attack by Israel on a civilian population center ever. And in history, there have always been attacks from Hamas out of Gaza since they took over the Gaza Strip mm -hmm. against population centers. It's vicious, it's murderous, it's continuous, and when you have a member of the United States Congress proclaiming, oh, the Palestinians are just defending themselves by killing innocent Jews in synagogue, in their homes, in their factories, in their schools, it's insanity. And I predict, and I hope what I'm about to tell you is truthful in the sense of my ability to predict the 2020 November elections, at least in her congressional district. I pray for the people of Detroit. And I don't care if they're Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Green Party, whatever. They elect somebody who cares about America first instead of her own personal enrichment and supporting terror. They can do so much better. And quite frankly, between you and I, I don't care who they elect. Anybody would be better coming from that district. And anybody includes nobody. If the seat sat vacant, it would be an improvement.